Hey, what's going on y'all? Brandon with Selling with the Snyder Group here. And it is almost summertime, which means everyone is gonna start moving. Kids are getting out of school. Homes are gonna start hitting the market, even in this crazy time with this market being the way it is. So we're gonna talk about the top five things that I would be doing to my house to get it ready to sell. Number one, let's talk about it. No one wants to talk about it because we live in Texas, but it is hot, which means you should get your AC looked at. Routine maintenance, especially during summertime, something as simple as getting your tune-up done right before the summer season can prevent a potential buyer from having issues in an inspection when your AC isn't cooling correctly. If your AC unit itself, maybe the condenser or even the full unit in the attic or wherever it's located needs work, maybe potentially because it's 8, 12 years, somewhere in that range, you might want to look at actually replacing it. These are the types of costs that can get you net more for your home get more offers for your home as well. The average replacement cost for an AC is somewhere between seven to $12,000. So that is something to consider here. Let's talk roof. You live in Texas just like I do, and if you're selling your home in Texas, chances are you might have had a hailstorm or two. Something we see that is a little bit uncommon, but it does happen um, enough to warrant a look at it, get your roof inspected. 30-year shingles are no longer 30-year shingles. That's becoming more and more about 20 to 25-year shingles. So if you've owned your home for 15 to 20 years and you haven't replaced your roof, chances are it's about time to replace your roof. I highly recommend getting a contractor, recommend a highly qualified roofer to come out and take a look at that and make sure that you get that prepared for the sale of your home. Talk electrical. Some of the things that we talk about when we talk about electrical are necessarily, aren't necessarily going to be a coating thing. They might not be a fire hazard, but we want to get those things looked at. I always recommend getting a pre-inspection done to know the items that are going to come up on an inspection report when you are selling your home so you can prepare for the things that you may want to fix before putting on the market or even when a buyer comes and puts an offer on your home. Electrical issues, 51,000 homes a year catch fire. It's a lot of homes due to electrical issues within the home, whether that's old wiring, junction boxes not being installed correctly, burnout switches, burnout plugs, things like that can cause issues. GFCI outlets are the number one thing we see on inspection reports these days. So I would highly recommend getting GFCI outlets in all of the areas near water. That is gonna be one of the main code requirements for a home these days in Texas and in other places across the country. So I'd highly recommend doing that as well. Let's talk about foundation. If you've lived in your home for a few years, maybe it's a new construction like mine is, your foundation is still settling. That happens, you'll see cracks in the wall, you'll see some uh, little hairline cracks going up and we wanna get that looked at, make sure that everything's good. In the older homes, if you start to see a large crack going upside the brick of your home, you might have a foundation issue you should get a licensed contractor to come out there licensed foundation inspector to make sure that your home does not have foundation issues because that is something that can kill a deal in the middle of an option period for you as a seller the last thing you want to do is start packing up your home you're moving towards your next home and the buyer says i don't want to buy your house anymore because there's problems that you need to get fixed. And the last thing that I always recommend to my clients before getting the house on the market is making sure that the outside and inside are painted, they're fresh, we have dogs, we have to get things painted sometimes, things rub against the wall. But it's one of the uh, least expensive things that I'm talking about in this video that actually nets you the most amount of money because people come in and their perception when they walk in the door within the first 30 seconds of coming into your home, that's when they're gonna make a decision if they wanna purchase. So I would highly recommend at least looking at the outside and saying, do I need to paint this? That's what we come in and do when we talk about staging and we talk about prepping your home for sale. We talk about paint. Sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't but I would highly recommend at least taking a look and seeing if you need paint. So giving you top five things that I would be doing to get my house ready to sell this summer. If you are looking to sell your home in the greater Houston area or anywhere across the country, our network of agents can help you. We'd be happy to help you in the greater Houston area and you can find our contact information below.